everybody, Cheaply Chic, welcome back to my channel. And for those of you who are new, welcome. I'm so glad you're here. Today is the second video in my Journal With Me series using the Renew collection. I am having a lot of fun with this so far and I'm really looking forward to today's video. But I wanted to share with you before I got into the video, those of you who ordered the collection know that these are the laser copied prints of some book pages that I included this month from an old etiquette book from the late 1800s. And today I think I'm going to use mine to create tags mostly. Oh my goodness, this cat, I'm trying to keep him out of the video, but he's like rolling over now that I'm talking, of course. They just come and they just take over. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to create some tags with them and I'm probably going to make an envelope pocket with one of them. I don't mind cutting them up and I just want to let all of you know, if you ordered this collection from me and received these prints or if you ordered the digital download that I also have in my shop right now, I have, I think it's 16 pages out of this book that um, I have in my Etsy shop that you can download and use yourself in your collection. There's lots of great pages, wonderful information and stuff. It's just so much fun. Any of these, it is public domain. So it's completely fine for you to make copies of this and to use it in any journal you create and anything that you do because it's old and it belongs to the public. So anyway, I just wanted to say that really quick before I got into the video. Today's video, like I said, I'm going to be making some tags and things out of that. I'm probably gonna do a little bit of decorating in my book. And then I have some more items in the collection that I'd really like to use, this really pretty wrapping paper. And of course, there's a lot of fun tags and cards already. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do other than the tags. So let's just get into the video and see what happens. So the first thing I did was I grabbed some cardstock that I had just super close. Otherwise I would have used chipboard, but the cardstock was sitting right next to me. So I am cutting multiple sheets of cardstock and I'm going to use my tape runner gun to adhere two of them together. Then I'm going to add the book page and I'm gonna pay attention to the part of the page that I want on the tag. And then I'm going to adhere some coffee dyed paper to the back of the tag. I guess I should mention ahead of time, I'm only gluing them on in this way because I'm going to run the tag through my sewing machine to give it a stitched edge. If you don't have a sewing machine, I would definitely glue down the entire piece of paper and make sure that my edges were glued really well so they didn't tear. This corner rounder punch is just one that I've had for a very long time. I actually picked it up at Hobby Lobby a long time ago. I think it's a paper studio brand, but I will leave a link in the description box down below. Somebody always asks me about my other corner rounder that I use and I love it so much better than this one. This one just happened to be close by and my other one after I've used it I think for three years now and I've used it a lot it's starting to dull so I got a lot of good life out of that eight dollar little corner rounder and I'm definitely going to order another one.
So because this paper is so bright white with these laser prints on it, I'm really going to, I don't want to say do my best, but do a pretty good job of aging it and distressing it. I didn't use my glass mat for this because of the shine that happens with the light and filming. So this piece of plastic that I'm using is literally just the cover of an old planner that I had. I ripped it off and I plan on using it and throwing it away. It costs me nothing. So if you just have a, ple a piece of plastic laying around or an old like cookie mat, especially those from the Dollar Tree, I've used those so often, just a little, um, I don't want to say it's silicone, but it's like a plastic mat that they sell in the cooking section at Dollar Tree. Um, you get two in a package, by the way. I am just going to use a vintage photo here and ink my edges and then the Distress Oxide Ink Old Paper is another one that I just use in the center and I really like the way they turn out. Now I'm going to use the third printed book page and I'm going to make an envelope out of it. I wanted to cut it down a little bit. The book pages itself had these black lines as borders because the book was so old they were not printed straight. So it's kind of impossible. I did the best that I could with the scans to try to straighten them out but I mean the book's over a hundred years old. <laughs> Printing was a little different back then, so the book pages themselves were not straight to begin with. But I'm going to cut it down a little bit, and then I'm going to make an envelope out of it. And this time, for those who don't have a sewing machine and you like ideas, I'm going to use my stapler. And I really like using my stapler in my journals, too. I mentioned this stamp set in my previous junk journal with me video, but I am going to use the butterfly out of this flutter collection from Tim Holtz and I'm going to use it on top of my tag and my envelope. So I will leave a link to this stamp set down below if you're interested. And I'm also using the Distress Oxide ink in Victorian Velvet.
now I'm just going to take some of the fibers that were in the collection and add them to the top of my tags. I always like to use my Fabri-Tac glue to make them stay in place. So now I'm just going to move on to some of the other tags that were in the collection. This one with the butterfly stamped on the front, I decide to glue to the inside of the cover. I always like having something on the inside of the cover so I can have my start and end dates and also the theme of the journal or something about how I use the journal that month. So for the blank tag that came in the kit, I am going to use a part of my wrapping paper that came in the collection as well. And I'm just going to glue it down. Later on in a different video, I'm going to use the rest of the wrapping paper, so you'll see me use that. But right now, I'm just going to decorate the tag with it.
And what I'm about to do here, I think, is one of my favorite pages in the whole journal. And now that it's fully decorated, I can still say that it does end up being one of my favorites. I am going to use the card catalog card and I'm going to staple it to my book page. I'm also going to use the time card from the collection, add a coffee dyed paper to the back of it for an extra journaling spot, and then just tuck it up under the card. But I love the way that the time card and then the typewriter print from the card catalog card just, it adds so much texture to the page. I love it. And don't you just love my little helper here? I mean, he's literally pushing my ink pads out of the way and trying to move all my stuff out of the way. Oh, they're just so darn cute though. And that is it for this video, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you haven't picked up the Renew collection and it's something you're interested in that is still available over in my Etsy shop, the link will be down below, as well as the digital kit that is also included with this collection. There are 16 book pages, like I said, and they're fabulous. So thank you guys again so much for watching. I have two more process videos in this journal that I will be getting up this week. So keep an eye out for that. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.